Hi guys, it is a cloudy, soon to be stormy Tuesday morning here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here in paradise, just outside of Inverness, Florida today on this otherwise lovely Tuesday morning, February 25th. 2020 and this is Sam Mitchell and you have found your way into Collapse Chronicles where I do what uh, I do which is chronicle the, chronicle the collapse of a planet and uh, I want to thank two kind-hearted tribes members for their kind-hearted donations to what I do on YouTube and let me make sure I get this. I uh, think this person's name is Mindy. I'm going to call her Mindy. I really do appreciate I think Mindy, and I might be uh, pronouncing her name wrong, uh, is a new subscriber here. Welcome aboard, and thank you for your kind donation to what I do. And, of course, we cannot forget... Marty Knudsen. Marty Knudsen, <laughs> brother, I really appreciate your uh, support through the years. You are truly one of the angels here on Collapse Chronicles. But anyway, guys, the rain is coming in, and I have a truck full of compost I need to get us. Uh, turned into my new raised organic raised bed garden. I want to get a garden planted here in Florida even though I'm leaving in three days. I, you know, I have organic gardens all over the planet. So I got to get busy with that. So we're going to be short and sweet. So uh, I just decided to see how long it would take me to find a chronicle of the collapse on today's Yahoo News, mainstream news. Took me about 30 seconds. About 30 seconds on the mainstream media today, right here from good old USA Today. And all kidding aside, guys, I really uh, am impressed by USA Today's collapse coverage. So this is what USA Today is uh, informing the USA Today readers uh, between all the ads for cars and whatnot. <coughs> Climate change could be a, quote, catastrophic national security threat. Report warns. Could be. There you go. How about will be? So uh, while our President Donald Trump, the climate change denier, goes on the campaign trail, what are they, what are his security advisors saying behind his back, I guess, since he does not want to hear this. Climate change could turn into a, quote, catastrophic threat to national and global security in the coming decades, warns a report released Monday. This is a report <coughs> uh, from the Nonpartisan Security Policy Institute, known as the Center for Climate and security. That might make for an interesting interview here on Collapse Chronicles. Uh, the report is titled A Security Threat Assessment of Global Climate Change. How likely warming scenarios indicate a catastrophic security future? Quote, even at scenarios of low warming, each region of the world will face severe risks to national and global security in the next three decades. Higher levels of warming will pose catastrophic and likely irreversible global security risks over the course of the 21st century. To avoid such dire impacts, the report recommends, quote, quickly reducing and phasing out greenhouse gas emissions. Oh yes, I am a, and uh, right next to that, we have a picture of Donald Trump with the headline, Trump's most dangerous destruction yet. Uh-huh, anyway, 
Back to the article. Human-caused climate change, also known as global warming, is caused by the burning of fossil fuels, wow, such as oil, gas, and coal, which release heat-trapping greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide into the Earth's atmosphere. I am so glad we have USA Today explaining this to us. This has caused our planet to warm to levels that cannot be explained by natural factors, scientists say. The globe has warmed about 2 degrees Fahrenheit since pre-industrial times, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The report identifies major threats including heightened social and political instability and risks to U.S. military missions and infrastructure, as well as security institutions across all regions of the world. In North America, under a low warming scenario, otherwise known as 1.8 to 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit by 2050, the region, meaning North America, quote, will experience more intense extreme events like storms and wildfires with significant impacts on life, property, security, infrastructure, and democratic institutions, which is a very loaded term. The threats to democratic institutions uh, report co-author, this is report co-author Sherry Goodman, a former Deputy Undersecretary of Defense. Quote, the assessment is clear. Climate change is a pressing risk to national and global security and will evolve to become a severe and systemic this threat. This is a really bad idea. Shut, a really all. bad idea. It is a really bad idea. I'm. Uh, that was NPR coming in uh, over the barking dog. This is a really bad idea. Thank you, NPR. But back to uh, back to USA Today from Sherry Goodman, former Deputy Undersecretary of Defense. Quote. The assessment is clear. Climate change is a pressing risk to national and global security and will evolve to become a severe and systemic threat the more we allow global temperatures to rise. Our panel's analysis shows that no region of the world will be left unaffected, and climate impacts will interact in dangerous ways in even near-term lower levels of warming. Close quote. Back to the report itself. Quote, Climate change will present significant threats to U.S. military missions across all of its geographic areas of responsibility, as well as to regional security institutions and infrastructure that are critical for maintaining global security. In addition to phasing out fossil fuels, oh yes, in addition to phasing out fossil fuels, the report says, quote, the world must also climate-proof environments, infrastructure, institutions, and systems on which human security depends. In the U.S., we call for renewed efforts to prioritize, communicate, and respond to climate security threats. There you go. And as I have predicted, we have another four years of Donald Trump on tap. So we know what that means. Report co-author Rod Schoonover of the Center for Climate and Security said, quote, it's the job of the U.S. intelligence community to anticipate risks to national security and provide strategic warning to appropriate policymakers, which obviously does not include Donald Trump. The science has long been clear, and the security community is adding compelling analysis 
of the threats climate change poses to people and nations. It is long past time for vigorous action to address them. There you go. Uh, you heard it here from uh, USA Today, Yahoo News, and now Collapse Chronicles. So uh, there you go. Short and sweet analysis of uh, what we can uh, look forward to, which is one more reason to uh, be planting an organic garden which is what I am doing here on my waterfront property in Florida. This is how I am responding to climate change threats, buying a waterfront property in Florida. Anyway, do with that uh, information what you wish. But anyway, if you enjoyed what USA Today had to tell you about you and your children's and grandchildren's future, please spend a few seconds to thumb up this video. If you did not like what USA Today had to tell you, then please spend a few seconds to thumb it down. And by all means, guys, while you're over here, please uh, subscribe to Collapse Chronicles for more of this doom and gloom coming at you for those who can handle the truth. But I need to wrap this up because I have a gas-sucking truck full of absolutely earthworm-packed organic compost, and the rain is blowing in, and I want to get my garden growing. And I suggest you get out there and spread your compost and get your garden growing while you still can. Bye, guys.